So a lot of people know that I've been doing IT work for the last 18 years and they often ask me what is the best way to secure my data when throwing out my computers. Oftentimes I suggest they get a drill and a quarter inch drill bit or maybe a 16 inch drill bit and drill the shit out of it. But today we're going to try something a little more fun. Today we're going to shoot some hard drives to secure your data. We're going to find out what's the best gun to use and what causes the most damage. If you're going to be in Florida shooting out at a ranch, the best thing to do is to bring some real true to form Florida crackers. So I brought one of the best Florida crackers I know, David. David, what weapon are you going to use to shoot at this first hard drive? 380 LCP2 is my wife's personal protection. Sweet. Here we go. The 380 basically just barely punctured the case. Now one could argue that this hard drive wouldn't work, but if we want to be conspiracy theorists, we could say someone could take the platters off in a clean room, apply them to a new hard drive, and possibly get your data. What we're looking for is clear holes all the way through. So let's move on. Clearly that was a fail, so I brought Steven. He's another Florida cracker. Steven, what are you going to use? I'm going to use the uh, 9mm uh, standard full metal jacket. So this one hit the hard drive, it probably would have passed through, but he hit right where the motor spindle is, and you can see it actually cracked the back casing, and it was pushed it out. I guess we'll have to go to another 9mm round, which I'm speculating this next one is just going to flatten out, because it's more of a high-end hollow point. Let's see what happens. So the next one is a 9mm G2 critical defense round. This is basically a hollow point with the serrated tip. My feeling is this is just going to flatten out. Because that's the whole purpose of a hollow point is once it hits its target, it flattens out the tunnel so it doesn't pass through and hit an innocent bystander. So I really doubt this is going to do much damage to that hard drive, but let's find out. So this one actually did penetrate, and the spindles and the platters inside did capture the bullet. Put one hell of a crack on the back of the casing, but as we thought, did not pass through. Second hard drive, he just dented the holy hell out of it. Nice big dent. So I think it's time we go to a bigger round. As much as we anticipated, it didn't do much. I think, uh, we say the hell with the pistols and go with the rifles? We should go with the rifles. Let's go rifles. 243 or We're going to do all of them. We're going to do all of them. Alright. i got a couple surprises. First rifle, what are you using? Uh, it's a 243. It's a beat up old ranch gun. Sweet. Let's see what it does. Nice. Nice. Now this is definitely what we're looking for. Nice, clean, straight through. Big hole in the back. Your data's safe now. Check out number two. Clean hole. Nice big hole in the back. We got more rifles and more hard drives, so let's keep at it. Hey Steven, what do you got? I got a uh, Remington, or a uh, Mossberg Patriot shooting uh, 6.5 Creedmoor. Sweet. Go ahead. Clear through, knock the entire spindle out. Safe to say those platters are not spinning anymore. That's a great shot. Wonder where the spindle went, probably in the water. Great shot. He suggested that a smaller round traveling at high speed may do well. What are you shooting, Lindsay? At 22 mag. 22 mag. Nice shot. Damn. The 22 Magnum, nice small hole, blew out the back, actually hit the read right arm in there. So 22 Magnum is effective at long range. Very nice. So it's time we went for the AR-15. I'm just shooting some cheapo metal rounds, steel casing, metal tip. I'm going to use the iron sights because I do not know if this thing is zeroed in.
So my first shot with an iron sight. Straight through. Nice. Next one I actually hit the side of the hard drive right here. Blew the whole side off. You can actually see the platters in there. That's what's inside your hard drive. We got one more rifle to end this video with. It's a little surprise. Let's have some fun. I failed. I was in such a big hurry to get out here today. I had to stop get ammo. I had to stop get hard drives. I forgot my end blocks, which means I can't load up all eight rounds, shoot down range to give you all the ping that you all know and love with the M1. But we can still shoot this 30 out six by hand. Just not as fun. Oh well. Ready? more fun with the M-Block. So right here is where we hit it with the M1. Blew the back out of it again. And you can see the uh, motor and the spindle. And the second one, which hole? Second hole right here. A little even bigger hole in the back. So that's our video for today on how to secure your data when disposing of hard drives. Sorry I forgot man block, but shit happens. Hope you enjoyed our little video and uh, get to the range. Now we're going to stop recording and just shoot the shit out of everything. So back in uh, World War II, this area of Fort Myers was used for military training and uh, found some old goodies here today. Usually you find some 50, uh, actually some training quarter shells out here, but we haven't been that lucky.